Hi guys, this is Umair. I'm back with another tutorial series and this time I'm going to be talking about Node.js and Express.js. Express.js is basically the framework of Node.js that is used to create the APIs in more cleaner and reliable way than the Node.js core. So in the first video, I'll be talking about how to set up our Express.js project. What are the files that are needed to be created for starting up a project that is going to be used with Express and the Node. And I will be talking about different modules of Express and the Node in this whole series. So in the next video, I'll be talking about automating the workflow, how to restart the server if you make any change in a file. Like if I change an element of our template, then our server should be restarted by itself. And the browser that is loading our web page should be reload again using different modules of Express. And then I'll be talking about different HTTP requests, like how to create different endpoints like different pages for about us for contact us for home page for categories and how to call those http requests and then i'll be talking about how to separate different templates into routes like we have different route for about us we have different route for contact us we have different route for our sign in sign up pages and all other pages and how to modularize all these concept and the logic that we are building and then I'll be talking about how to, to set up the custom locations. Like uh, if we have images, if we have the CSS files, or we, if we have the media files, audio or video, rather than giving the full path of that folder for the images, for the video or audio, we can set up a static location that whenever I want to use the images or a video or audio file, I'm going to be using that particular media file without giving the full path that uh, it is inside the public and then the images and the image name. I'm going to be giving the static location for that. And then I'll be talking about templates like how to create and use the third party templates. Like uh, there are multiple templates like EJS template. We have a simple HTML templates. We can have handlebars templates and there are a bunch of other templates and how to install those templates and create different views for our website using those third party templates. And that uh, are also be used for different pages for our website. And finally, I'll be giving you uh, overview how to create APIs or endpoints that we can use uh, and make it available for our front end website. Like we have the framework of JavaScript, like React, Views, or Angular. And if you want to expose these endpoints to our front end or the client side, they would be able to use these APIs uh, to get the services of our website. So that is going to be really interesting and really informative. Before getting started, I would I just want to let you all know that I've already created some tutorials on Node frameworks and Express.js like I have this video Node.js tutorial for beginners in one video that is about the core Node framework and that is uh, like uh, I'm gonna be using different modules of Express in this particular video but if you want to learn core Node.js that what are the different modules that already exist in particular Node framework then you can see this video and I have other videos as well how to use NPM Node Package Manager for installing different modules uh, you can check out this video and I have these videos as well I'm gonna give the link of these videos in the description below and other thing is that uh, if you want to read books or you like to read books and uh, this is the book that I would recommend you guys this is very interesting book and if you want to go into depth of a uh, node and express uh, you can just buy this book and read it and the tutorial that I'll be giving you in this uh, whole series will be from this book and from my own experience that I, I have been working on throughout uh, in past two three years Okay, so uh, go ahead and check out the description. And if you want to buy this book, you can buy this book through the link uh, in the description. So right now I have opened up my IDE that is Visual Studio Code. And I have opened up an empty folder. It contains nothing right now. 
so what i'm gonna do is first of all i need to download node from the node website you can download the latest version of node and install it in your system with the default settings along with the node it will also install npm called node package manager okay node package manager is used to install different modules of node and uh, express is also a module itself of the node okay so if i want to check the node version i can go to the terminal this id contains terminal itself uh, you can use the cmd of your system node space hyphen v and it will show me the uh, the version installed in my system 6.10.1 that is the version you might have the latest version or old version than this but make sure you update your version if it is below than 6.0 okay and along with the node it will install npm and i can check the version of npm by just writing npm space hyphen v and this is the version of npm installed in my system so both the things are installed so using npm i can start up my project so how i can start up my project i can use npm init means npm initialize and that will ask me few question to create a new file that is called the package.json file that is used to configure our websites that how to uh, start our project which files should execute at the start of our website and where are different files and how to run our project so these are the information that can be given so what is the name of our project i can give the name of my project uh, or a package name right here so i'm just uh, writing learn express and that is the name of my project version is 1.0 let's go uh, i don't want to give any description right now entry point is um, let's say app.js that is the entry point test command no test command and git repository no git repository no keyword no author no license and i'm gonna give it yes so it has created package.json file so if i open it up you can see that it has created this object and it has these properties that it has just asked it has the main app.js it has the author uh, i don't want to write the author it has this license if you want to give the github repository or the author a license you can give it right here but this is just for explaining you guys i'm not gonna giving uh, any uh, detail like this uh, in this specific tutorial okay so that's it so now uh, we have given it an information that the startup file is app.js okay so it means that we have to create this app.js and using the node command we can run this file okay and for the script uh, i need to remove this and what i'm gonna write inside it is I'm going to write start and node app.js. Okay. So let's save this file and I'm going to create a new file right here app.js. Okay. So inside this file, I can uh, write anything, I can print any message if i want so first of all i need to use express uh, for working with this project so for using the express i need to install express in this project so for installing express i need to use npm node package manager to install express so what i'm gonna do is i will come to the terminal and i will write npm install hyphen hyphen save and express and if i press enter it will start downloading express module that is the framework of node and it will add this module in my project so it has installed express module in this node underscore modules folder and this is the folder that is created by default and it contains all the packages that are required for running our application it has bunch of other modules as well so this one is the express module that i have just installed and all other modules are the dependency modules of express so for running express these modules should be available for us okay without these modules we can't use express so that's why it has installed other modules along with express and place those modules in my node modules folder 
and if i go to the package.json you can see that it has created a new property dependencies means our application need express for running our website and it has installed the latest version of express uh, this is the latest version and the way it has added this express within this property is because i use hyphen hyphen save command so after that i've installed express so for requiring and using express in my app.js file i'm just going to require express module so express i have just declared a variable and i'm going to write require and i'm going to write the name of my module express okay so i need to set my server up so that my express server is running and i can check uh, this uh, server in my web browser so for running this express server first of all uh, i need to create an app and that is going to be express function okay and using this app variable uh, i can create different endpoints i can create a server and i can run the server and listen on a specific port okay so for creating the server uh, first of all i need to create a port so for creating the port i can use app variable and i can use the set function and inside date i need to write port and i need to check if the developer have environment port or 3300 okay if the port is added within this uh, environment uh, variable of the system that that will be used if not then i have given the default port that is 3300 and after that i need to listen this server so let's say var server equals to app dot listen and i can use the app dot get function and get this port that i have just created above and that needs to set before the listening of this port so i have get this port from this function and after that i can just use the callback function whenever our server gets starts and inside it i can just write console dot log and i can write a message listening on port app dot get and i can get the port okay so in my terminal i can use or run this app dot js file in two ways first of all let's use the node command to run this app dot js file and i'm going to use node space app.js and press enter so it has shown me listening on port 3300 if i go to my browser and i'm going to write localhost 3300 and press enter and it has just said me that can't get slash okay this is the error because there should be the default route that should be run for running our server so in order to create the default route i need to use app dot get and this is the default route and after that i can use this callback function and i can pass it a variable that is going to be a request and the response okay and inside date i need to use response dot send and inside date let's use the html h1 element hello this is our express server okay i need to end my h1 element all right so let's save this and let's add the space right here as well and run node space node space app.js command again so listening on port 3300 and if i reload this page you can see that it has shown me message hello this is our actually this is not our this is our express server so our express server has been started 
so we have set up our express server that's it for this video in the next few videos i will be covering the major topics of node and express uh, that i have just explained at the start of this video so stay tuned and if you like this video make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe this channel